North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says his country is ready to mobilize its nuclear war deterrent and counter any U.S. military clash. Our armed forces are thoroughly prepared to respond to any crisis, and our state's nuclear war deterrence is also fully ready to mobilize its absolute strength faithfully, accurately, and promptly to its mission. Kim's remarks came during a speech marking the 69th anniversary of the July 27th Korean War armistice, which left the two Koreas technically still at war, according to KCNA news agency on Thursday. He also criticized South Korea's new president for the first time, warning Seoul was pushing towards the brink of war. If you think you can neutralize or destroy part of our military power, it's nonsense. Such a dangerous attempt will immediately be punished by a powerful force, and Yoon Suk Yul's government and his army will be annihilated. Yoon's office said South Korea is capable of strongly and effectively responding to provocations at any time. His presidential office spokesperson, Kang In-sun. We express deep regret that Chairman Kim Jong-un made threatening remarks at our government while mentioning the president by name during a speech at an event marking the war our mistress's anniversary. Kim claimed the threat the U.S. has posed to the North since the 1950-53 war required it to achieve an urgent historical task of beefing up its self-defense. In Sun reiterated the South's wish that North Korea would, quote, take the path of dialogue to achieve substantive denuclearization and peace. Kim's speech came after Seoul and Washington officials said Pyongyang had completed preparations to conduct its first nuclear test since 2017. The South Korean minister handling inter-Korean affairs said on Tuesday there was a possibility of the test around the anniversary of the armistice, though a military official said there were no immediate signs for it. South Korea's foreign minister said on Wednesday that the North will likely face stronger sanctions if the test goes ahead. In Wednesday's speech, Kim said Washington continues what it calls dangerous, illegal, hostile acts against the North and seeks to justify its behavior by demonizing the country. The North has long accused the United States of double standards over military activities and hostile policy towards Pyongyang. It claims the U.S. is hampering a restart of talks aimed at dismantling the country's nuclear and missile programs in return for sanctions relief.